hydrogen decoupling, NMR, spectroscopy, Higgs boson, nuclear magnetic resonance, nuclear I particle. Okay, so August 20th, 2012 is when I uh, started working on this, and it's September 17th today. My thoughts. Hydrogen abstraction keyword to Higgs boson particle to remove the main signal and find the fragments of a particle that will stay with mass so we can study it. Nuclear magnetic resonance decoupling. Quote from Wikipedia, nuclear magnetic resonance decoupling is, is a special method used in nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy where a sample to be analyzed is irradiated at a certain frequency or frequency range to eliminate fully or partially the effect of coupling between certain nuclei. NMR coupling refers to the effect of nuclei on each other in atoms within a couple of bonds distance of each other in molecules. This effect causes NMR signals in a spectrum to be split into multiple peaks which are up to several hertz frequency from each other. Decoupling fully or partially eliminates splitting of the signal between the nuclei irradiated and other nuclei such as the nuclei being analyzed in a certain spectrum. NMR spectroscopy and sometimes decoupling can help determine structures of chemical compounds. So the formula idea from the data is particle plus frequency range plus eliminate plus coupling plus nuclei plus NMR plus coupling plus atoms plus bonds plus distance plus molecules plus Higgs signal plus the NMR signal plus the spectrum plus the split plus multiple plus peaks plus several hertz frequency plus compare plus each others plus decoupling plus fully plus partially plus eliminate plus splitting plus signal plus between plus nuclei plus irrigate plus analyze plus other nuclei and in, plus in spectrum plus NMR plus spectroscopy plus decoupling plus determine plus destructures plus chemical plus compounds. August 25th, 2012, my thoughts. Based on the keywords, it looks like you have to take the Higgs boson particle, use NMR spectroscopy, and decoupling techniques to determine the structure in the chemical compounds found in the two photons and other particles that may be unseen. It will stop the signal from splitting so you can analyze a particle in spectrum or something like that. The series continues in the next segment. Thank you for watching.